Hi, Russell here. Today, let's talk about Flipgrid. Flipgrid is a super awesome video discussion tool that's simple, accessible, and fun. If you're a teacher, you can have your students reflect on their assignments using video, or you can have them create entire assignments in video. If you're in Microsoft Teams already, you can easily add your Flipgrid discussion. But before we talk about that, if you have any questions, reach out and connect with us so we can help you. Okay, let's do this. You're on Flipgrid's homepage. Select the educator sign up and then choose sign up with Microsoft. Enter your Office 365 account and then complete the account information. We're gonna start by creating a group. We'll enter a group name here. It's my biology class period three. Now let's create a unique join code. This is the link you'll share with your students. Let's try bio three. Oh, it's saying that's not available. How about Goldberg bio three? And that works. You can either add students using emails or Flipgrid usernames. We'll use student emails. Now you can individually enter your students' email addresses, upload a CSV, or you can just add your domain name, which is basically anything following the at sign in your email address. Let's do that. Your students may have a unique domain name. I'll add that here for my students. Now I can share the group join code a few different ways, including Microsoft Teams or I can copy and paste the code anywhere I'm communicating with my students. Let's go to the group and add a topic. We'll create an introductory topic. Tell me about you, and I'll fill this out quickly. Let's add some emojis here. Now here's where it gets really fun. I can record a video, upload a video, add a video from YouTube or Vimeo. I can add in GIFs. I'll choose emoji again because I love emojis and we're celebrating my first topic. Below in Essentials, you can moderate the topic, meaning you can review videos before making them visible to the class. I can adjust the amount of time students have to record, and I can set the comment settings and closed caption language. Once your topic is ready, you can share it in the same way as a group, including once again, Microsoft Teams. Now we just walked through the educator side of Flipgrid, but the power of Flipgrid is on the student side and giving them the chance to speak up and express themselves. So there's a link below to a resource to help give your students an idea of how to get started in Flipgrid, including a link to a video that walks your students through the cool video features that really set Flipgrid apart. I hope you dive in because there's so much more to do. We've been seeing questions about what you can do with Flipgrid beyond selfie videos, and the answer is so many things. You and your students can add filters, emojis, live inking. You can walk through the steps of an equation on a board. You can upload images and you can even screen record. There's so much more you can do and it's accessible. If students are having trouble reading the discussion prompts, they're not gonna feel comfortable sharing their voice. So Immersive Reader is built in with closed captions and transcripts. If you're ready to learn more about Flipgrid and all the awesome stuff it has in store, join a Flipgrid professional development session with one of our Flipgrid Educator Innovation Leads. To check it out and register for an upcoming session, head over to this link. But that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Be bold, keep learning, and we'll see you next time.